along the road to 300k, I'm going to be giving away so many items here on the channel. And first up for grabs are these five painted Fenix. And all you've got to do is follow these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on today's video. And third of all, comment your details down below. But as well as that, which painted Fenix you prefer. So I will be selecting five individual winners when the channel hits 260,000 subscribers. So best of luck to every single one of you. And yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are going to be making our very first investment into painted phoenix and just showcasing how you can absolutely snipe these and sell them for a massive amount of profit guys so welcome back to the channel once again i hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always and today we are back at it with the trading series going from 100 credits all the way up to the titanium white dominoes so the very first episodes were basically like a stepping stone into how to start trading but now we are going to go into bigger items buying painted black markets painted phoenix and so much more and once again just a friendly little reminder that literally over 70 percent of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed and if you want to keep up to date of this series make sure you are subscribing to the channel for completely free and turning on post notifications once again the support you guys are showing me is absolutely insane so as soon as we get 4,000 likes on this video, I'll get to work on episode 4 and yeah, let's jump straight into it. And quickly before we do get into the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring today's Rocket League video. This site provides flexibility and safety to every single order. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do some insane deals on there and use code Zenic at checkout to get yourself 3% off every single order. Alright, so jumping into the very first trade, when I said we're going big today, I meant it. So the post we put up was 1.8k on the Rocket League trading hub, which I can highly recommend or rocket league trading post should i say it's an app you can download it and i keep on repeating it because i keep on getting new viewers on the channel and i just want to get the word out there because it's amazing to find trades and basically i put all of this up the guy was interested in the credits and had a lime in seller which right now is 1.7 to 1.9 however is the most hard thing to sell in the world so it's going to be really difficult to get rid of this thing but at the same time if we're underpaying by 300 credits i'm not going to say no but once again i changed my post removing the 1400 credits and slapping in that lime in seller which honestly is going to be the hardest thing in the world to sell but let's give it a go and next up gonna be a basic trade for a non-crate import it is a Dystro as well which is one of the more somewhat popular cars it's sort of around the middle area and it's going for about 60 to 80 credits right now and we agreed on 60 then i was a little bit cheeky and said can you do 70 and bang slapped it in happy days so yeah just want to clarify as well that i found that trade on the looking for group page that wasn't from rl trading post and rocket league garage is also another website and also an app which is pretty cool but i think i prefer rocket league trading post just a little bit more and this is the post we went with somewhat decent you know we got a few credits right there we got the lineman seller chilling and yeah this guy wanted to buy my gun or wheels had a bit of an overpay to say the least so this was once again from the looking for group got extremely lucky he chucked in 50 credits and also some infiniums which right now i do believe they're around 50 credits so literally getting double the value that i asked for i'm definitely gonna take this but yeah i would say rocket league trading post is more consistent to get offers where to look for group you can get some amazing overpays but it's just so rare to find them but eventually you'll get lucky like i did and right here eventually after absolutely grinding on rocket league trading post you can see the post right there with the finnies we finally get 100 credits because these things oh god they were hard to sell because they're not even a non-crate import so it's not really any use for them unless you actually want to buy them and for some reason this guy did obviously 100 credits is literally what i've been asking for so i'm definitely gonna take this and eventually oh my god this took a very long time to get gone but at the same time the profit we're making is extremely solid i got offered around 1.5 quite often which is still 100 credits but i knew i could get a little bit more considering the minimum value is 1.7 you can look at the post right there we couldn't really do much that's why i was trying to like target selling the smaller items because I just gave up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. The Insteller wasn't really selling. But eventually, we got the 1.65, I'm pretty sure. Which is obviously 50 less than the minimum value. But couldn't care less. 250 credits profit. Also, a question I've been seeing quite a bit in the comments as well. Is that why do you not put a credit value on the bigger items? And that's because you want to let the offers come freely. If you need to sell it and you really want to quick sell it. Obviously, you can put a price there. But I just thought, you know what? I'm going to see what the offers are saying. And yeah, eventually, we got that trade right there. Which I thought was good. But not as good as this one right here. So, the Hex right now. Do I believe it's about 400 credits on a spreadsheet and the infiniums like i said are about 50 and we're adding the infiniums to 150 credits 200 credits a complete maximum to get myself a hex black market decal yes please so as simple as this i went back onto my post and just changed it up obviously selected the hex put 400 credits on the right side and bang easy as that i just sat there waited and bang got myself a deal but if you're using credits to try and buy items i would recommend looking for group 
over the post because most of the time if you see like massive posts where they're looking for like extreme overpays most of the time you're going to get extremely unlucky and not find any trades whereas look for group is so free and you could just obviously offer and bang get yourself some crazy deals but yeah obviously i'm not going to say no to this trade getting a mid value for my black market so an absolute hidden gem that i found recently is going to be the painted and regular direwolves just for the facts on the spreadsheet right now take a look jesus why is it worth that much not so clue but i think it's literally glitched because there's a burnt the rock saying that's been the same price for like a year now and these things haven't moved and honestly they're not really that high in demand which is the good thing about this thing so look at the post it's literally just so boring like 2.5k sat there chilling obviously i want to make myself profit so i just thought you know what i'm gonna offer for these this guy really wanted them gone as you can see in the bottom right corner and paying 450 when the minimum is 800 oh my so yeah boys and girls i don't even know how to express how hard these things are to sell like every single person i offered said hard to sell no no chance lol i literally got the people lowering me all of the time just because of how bad these are like what's going on why is everyone hating the die so much not a clue because they're doing a regular one i'm pretty sure it's going for like 600 on spreadsheet i understand a little bit but yeah i just had to get these gone the glorifier right now it's 800 in minimum value and it's a black market people like black markets people do not like direwolves so yeah i happily take this so next up we have taken an experiment to a whole nother level we are buying an item that has literally been discontinued from the game for looking too similar to the regular one and that is going to be the black mantis obviously the post right here looking kind of fresh got a lot of credits got a black market but we are going ahead and buying this thing today and yeah looking at the spreadsheet Jesus, 700 to 900, and we are paying 400 and getting some ads as well. We've also got some random rocket pass stuff that might sell for like 50 maybe, and then some random non crate res, which will probably sell for 10 each. But I'm definitely going to take a chance on this thing. So, yeah, once again, immediately changing my post, and it's just so much more satisfying to me when I can just put more like corresponding items there. I don't really know why, but yeah, obviously, for the rocket pass stuff, I'm looking for 50 just because that's what it is on the spreadsheet. And for the white stuff, yeah, it's a little bit easier to get the, like the values they are on the spreadsheet just because there's somewhat more of a demand. But Rocket Park stuff isn't really that amazing. But next up, we are going to be selling the black, what's it called? Mr. Monsoon? Really cool gold explosion, to be fair, which on the spreadsheet is 100 to 150. However, like I said already, Rocket Park ain't great, so we'll definitely take this. The moment you have most likely been waiting for, it is going to be me buying a painted Fennec, as you can see on this car right there, looking really fresh. It's going to be Cobalt, and on the spreadsheet right now, I do believe it's 1.2 to 1.4k. So we could make a solid amount of profit if we do actually sell this thing for its even like minimum value. That's still 200 credits profit definitely take it and yeah the trading post doesn't really matter for this just for the fact i found this on look for group page he was already looking for a slight underpay so i even went even lower i was like 1k he said yes and bang so he obviously wanted the credits that's why credits are so vital in this game but obviously in the next episode we're gonna sell this thing and hopefully make a ton of profit oh so yeah that is gonna be the final trade of today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy and if i sound a little bit tired it's because yeah i am i've been daily uploading for the past like month i'd say so it's starting to get to me but i'm gonna try and push through it so if you are new around here and do want to see daily rocket league content make sure you are subscribing with notifications on and as i said previously 4,000 likes and i'll get to work on episode 4 straight away and yeah i'll see you all tomorrow